welcome to my channel myself sd today i'm going to show you how to create an instance in amazon aws so first of all you i'm logged into my account in aws then i go to ec2 this is the first page when you logged into your account then you go to the services you can click on the ec2 after that you can click on the instance you can click on the la launch instance here or also here so i click here then you can you can check with uh, so many so many images here you can select uh, any one you can select that so you can select on the amazon linux the own linux os so first of all i click on the free trial only because this is a tutorial so i'm not getting the professional server so that's why i, I use the free trial only so here you can see that so many images so uh, i select the ubuntu you can select also that server so you can also check that the supported systems uh, the php docker mysql postgresql and also the supported in python ruby java that are supported so i select that ubuntu then actually i select that the free tier free tier eligible okay so i select the configuration instance details oh that is the main thing so many options is here the number of instance if you want to one two or more instance you can just type here or 10 instance you can just type here so presently i request for one that is the network vpc subnet auto assign public ip use the subnet settings enable that's the default options ime role you can watch my another video so you can understand that part you can enable the cloud watch monitoring and tz ultimate also the advanced you can comment uh, so many command you can type here it's like a php installation and all these things so then i go to the add storage add storage normally free tier eligibility is 30 gb but only 8, 8 gb it's by default so i don't require the 30 gb so i require 15 gb for my purpose so i select the 15 gb and add tag tag is used for the server naming concept it's like a if you have uh, so many servers uh, 10 to 15 uh, 20 30 servers so you can manage with the, the tags so i don't require i only the one servers so that's why i don't require for any tags so i just configure the security and security is the major part in this server so you can click on create a new security i just click here with the server web server web server 
I only access the right now the SSH anywhere so review and launch so here is the importance security reason the actual thing is that AWS so many times told that don't allow the SSH with anywhere so you just only ensure that you can connect your IP can connect through that server you can check out my security video so you can understand what exactly I want to say so I launch yeah the main thing is that create a new key pair or choose existing so I choose existing but make sure that key you have to download first it's like a test if I click so you download that EPM file and also keep it safe place because you don't create another PM or any next time download so you can check that you have also download the private file PM before you can continue not able to download the file again after it's created so make sure you downloaded that file so I select the existing I already have so our instance is ready maximum it will take two to three minutes to ready to ready for connecting your server is ready it's initializing thank you thank you so much for watching my channel please subscribe like comment share The server almost ready but it's now initializing taking few minutes to propagate
you can check the name instance id instance type availability zone instance steps it is running our public ip address all the things yeah it's ready for your installation the other software so you can you can connect through the ssh and you can install my next video how to connect through the ssh or putty how to connect that server so my next video please watching my channel and subscribe like comment share thank you so much